What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. I'm here on Daytona Beach. Look at all of this shoreline. Is that a restaurant or is that a hotel? I'm curious. It's a lot of shoreline at dusk. It's pretty peaceful and relaxing, to be honest with you. It's a lot different than uh, Miami Beach. It's way different than Miami Beach or South Beach to be specific, but it's a vibe. It is dope. It's a vibe. I see people walking across and it's kind of holding hands and having a good time. Rita's over there. Look at Rita. Rita's always trying to get her Instagram popping, but it feels weird for me, honestly, because I took some meetings today and I got some business taken care of. And then Leslie uh, had her Taekwondo competition and that was absolutely awesome. We getting up out of here and we gonna head over to Orlando and we gonna go to Disney World tomorrow. Uh, I'm not sure which parks that I wanna hit or can you hit multiple parks? I've never been to Disney World. I'm just now starting to take time out and enjoy myself. Just now, at 40 years old, and don't get me wrong, I enjoy myself with the things that I do on a regular basis, but I enjoy myself after I take care of business, which I largely did today also. But the whole idea, I guess, that I'm trying to emphasize to you guys is I did what I had to do and I made a lot of sacrifices throughout my life in order to make sure that my family was taken care of. Y'all please excuse the wind. I am not an advocate for all of this wind that we getting right now, but it's okay. I largely did the things that I had to do so I can do what I wanted to do. And that's really what the inspiration for this video is, is you can do whatever you want to do as long as you do it after you take care of business. And I'm looking at it from a man's perspective because women largely are the beneficiaries of great men. Now, I do consider myself a great man and I'm not going to mince words or, you know, try to dun myself down or, you know, live in this false humility. No, 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 no. I've done some fucking great things in my lifetime. And so now I'm in a space where I can afford to, from a time perspective and financially, do whatever I want to do when I want to do it. And so I want you to largely look at this as inspiration. Look at this as an opportunity to really understand what it takes in order to be successful. Most great men don't even become millionaires until what, it was like 62 or something? You don't have to wait until you're 62. You can stay down for the first 10, for the first seven, for the first five. It's much easier when you're rocking with mentors that can give you the blueprint and then you can, you know, do it even quicker and faster, but you have to make a sacrifice because you don't get something for nothing. Contrary to popular belief, most millionaires overwork. They work much harder than people that's just chilling every day. And it's their children, it's their wife, it's their the people around them that's the beneficiaries of their hard work. But I guess my point that I'm really, really trying to emphasize to you guys is that life is better on this side. Again, I do love and appreciate the fact that I get to have a great time and do fun things and, you know, everything is business first and then you have fun while you're taking care of business, which means that happiness is a state of mind. It's not what it is that you think. It's not a certain circumstance. Yes, money cannot buy happiness. That's the context, right? But the real deep dive into that is that money affords you options, and which I talked about in the last video. I see homegirl over there. She meditating. She living, uh, she, she centering her chakras and all of that other type of stuff. Shout out to you. That's incredibly peaceful. You know, for a long time, uh, while I was in the mire, prior to getting to the spaces that I am now, I envied regular people. I never wanted to be them. I envied regular people. And the reason why I envied regular people is because I didn't understand it. And it baffled me how they were able to just live carefree knowing that they had to go back to whatever it is that they had to go back to that they were struggling through. It's like 
Yo, you work all year just so you can take a week vacation or a two week vacation when every day can be bliss if you go ahead and make the sacrifices for an extended period of time to really do what you have to do so you can do what you want to do. And the envy part was just like, yo, I don't know what that feels like to just be able to be carefree for a long time. I never knew what that felt like until now. But I will tell you that it was misguided. What I should have done was had that mindset, which it didn't really matter anyway because I still made the sacrifice. But what I should have done was just had the had that mindset like, look at those idiots. Let me stop saying that. No, look at those idiots not willing to do what they need to do. And then they're gonna be running in the victim Olympics. How can you go on vacation and be having a whole lot of student loans? How can you go on vacation and you got bills due and you don't know how to go, how you're going to pay your rent. It's people that do that every single day. And I envy their mindset because I was trying to understand, yo, how can you just, how can you feel like you happy even though you sad and you struggling and you created this environment for yourself that's not conducive to your lifestyle or your future or your kid's future? It was misguided. It was misguided. And I always thought that somebody had one up on me. I would be chilling in the basement, uh, taking care of business, building, learning, doing all of that. You got the uh, ocean deck. You ever been to the ocean deck, Rita? See the ocean deck behind me? I guess it's a little bar and all of that. And then you got the uh, the views up there. I don't know. I've never really cared about these little boutique hotels. Give me a Marriott, you know? What do you think about that, Rita? You like the boutique hotels? These ain't no villas right there. No, I've never seen it. Maybe those over there a little bit more, but yeah. these ain't no villas right here. Yeah, I've at all. Nothing like that. But um That ain't fun, man. That ain't the move. The move is not having to suffer so that you can then do what you want to do, right? Or or let me rephrase that. The move is not having to suffer for the rest of your life so you can do what you want to do temporarily. The goal is to make the sacrifice now so you can do what you want to do for the rest of your life. I already told y'all what the what the goal is, right? We're going to sell everything. I'm getting rid of all of the sneakers, all of the furniture. I don't even need a place. All, Rita's over there taking, look at Rita, taking care of business. Rita is on the phone working right now and taking care of business because she was waiting on a call back for some stuff that I had to take care of, right? Always working, always grinding. Your girl is going to be a reflection of you. So if you're taking care of business and doing things the way you're supposed to, she gonna follow along and have that same mindset and take care of business also. This is free. This is freedom. This is love. This is life. This is happiness in real life. I love you guys. I appreciate you. Hopefully you find some level of inspiration because it's better to be rich than it is to be poor. I don't care what they tell you. It's better to be rich than it is to be poor. Poor people can't even help themselves. They subject to what everybody else is telling them to do. Rich people make their own way. All right. Make sure you join the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. Uh, if you're watching this as a premiere, uh, if you need to kick it with me personally, holler at me at AntonDaniels413 at gmail.com. We're going to get you scheduled. We're going to head over to Disney World tomorrow. And do you know that I don't even have a flight back yet? Because I can work and do what I want to do anywhere and I can take my, my family where I want them to be for as long as I want to. That's freedom. Fuck what they're telling you on the other side. I love you. I appreciate you. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace.